Hello everyone, I am your host Harun Zubari and in this video we are going to discuss about the cPanel redirects. In this video we are going to have a deep look about all settings. I am recording this video in the continuous of our previous video that I just recorded. So let's get started. As you can see, I am in my cPanel. You can see we have a domain section. If you go to redirects. You will find all these options over here. Here we have one option add redirect. You can see we have a type, type permanent or temporary. Before moving into details, let me just give you a quick recap of our previous video in which I have told you about the redirect types and their uses in details. As you can see, we have two types of redirects. Number one is permanent that is 301 and the one is temporary that is 302. So the permanent redirect is used when you want to move all your traffic from one domain to another. Like you purchase one domain like domain1.com right now but after one year you have got another domain that is domain2.com that have better search volume and a good keyword for your company. So you just put up a redirect from your old domain to the new domain. But what about all the effort that you have put in the one year or the time span in which you have purchased the old domain and this other domain. So here we have a solution named redirect. So we put a 301 permanent redirect from the old domain to the new domain we will, where you can set up all your pages from your old domain to new domain. And Google also approves it that once Google see that you have your all pages are redirecting from one page to another so google will replace all your seo effort all your seo indexes or all your seo urls that are indexed already on google search will be replaced with the new domain after some few span of time you can say it's in three months or four months it to, it takes some time to index all these pages as soon as all the pages are going to rank and reviewed all of them are got replaced so in this uh, in this video we will discuss them in details in the second the second type of redirect is three temporary redirect that is 302 if you want to temporarily move your domain or your pages to another domain or page for some particular span of time such as one month two weeks or and or some different time span according to your need then then you use 302 redirect that is a temporary one let's move towards the settings that you can see we have here if you see we have the domain uh, we have the option https question mark colon slash www dot question mark the question mark means that this is optional that this is optional https of question mark it means the, the url https is optional here www dot question mark it's also optional like we can make it, comp make it compulsory but in the start and the general in the general case it is optional so just pick up a domain here like test subdomain.com that we are already using so if you see we have options here only redirect with www or redirect with or without www or do not redirect if you pick only redirect with www then we will have to put www in the start for for compulsory like you can see if i if i put uh, if i have set up only www and try to redirect to https colon slash slash three second solutions dot com then if i put domain directly that is three second solutions dot com that is just subdomain dot three second solutions dot com then it will not be redirected but if i put www dot test subdomain dot three second solutions dot com then it will be redirected now let me give you an example let's pick up a redirect type uh, permanent or temporary here we are using temporary redirect that is 302 for us for the current use the the 301 or 302 doesn't mean a lot but if you uh, see in perspective of google it means a lot for that you are putting 301 or 302 now let's pick up a domain let's put test for tutorial dot three second solutions dot com and try to redirect it to https colon slash slash three second solutions dot com dot com and here we are going to try with only redirect with www if you see the www dot here is no more optional so now let's try add and hit this domain then you can see i didn't put the www dot here so it is not redirecting but if i put www dot with the test photo royal dot dot com then it will be redirected you can see now let's pick up a domain again 
testwatertoil.com tcqswishes.com here and picking up the daily rate with or without double like it means the double block is optional now so pick up the https color slash here tcqswishes.com and paste go back control shift n test photo real of it means uh, but it this time it won't care that we are putting www here or not you can see the domain is redirected the, the load time is a bit large at this time don't know why but you can see the domain name successfully changed and the domain is redirected successfully now close it and try to add another redirect but before that let's just read for previous one go back click a permanent or uh, temporary let's choose temporary test for tutorial.com here we are choosing that do not read that www it means that we do not uh, we do not have to put www here solutions.com let's put it here and You can see the domain is detected successfully. Here, let's go back, and you can see www matches false here. You just place redirect. Let's just remove the redirect and go back. Now we have discussed this one. Now let's discuss about the wildcards. The wildcards are used when you want to redirect all your previous pages to the new pages. Such as I want to let me just give you an example. I have the test for tutorial slash test. I want to uh, I just change my domain and, uh, and I have all the content same so I want it to redirect to this solution slash test so it will redirect all the pages in the test photo royal dot solutions.com to the second solutions.com now let me give you an example okay now put up the domain name second solutions.com uh, choose the wildcard I told you about the wildcard as you can see we already have a checkbox here a note here checking the wildcard redirect box will redirect files within a directory to the same file name in the redirected directory as I explained you earlier you cannot use a wildcard redirect to redirect your main domain to a different directory on your website now let's pick up add now if I hit uh, test for tutorial slash test uh, then it must be redirected to solutions.com slash test let's try this test folder for I mean why is it rejecting oh man sorry oh, oh man we just put the wrong domain for tutorial the thesis slash test Oh, you can see the domain is so related to test but as you say uh, as we know the page is not found so it is showing up the page not found just close it and go back and remove this redirect delete you can see for the wildcard we have wildcard checked up already here wildcard match www tick type permanent https status code 301 redirect url that is 360solutions.com domain url this one just delete it and delete go back and see about this option what is this if you want to read uh, if you want to redirect your subdirectory to another directory like like suppose i have temporary test for tutorial and i make up a folder test here test for test redirect and it will be redirect all the URLs in the test the test redirect folder to our tested folder. Like I just put up https colon slash test three second solutions dot com slash test redirect. So it will redirect all the pages that I'm going to hit within this folder to the three second solutions dot com slash test redirect folder. Now let's add it. I do not have this page but the retreat is already set up now just edit it 
एंड सी वट वी हैव लर्न इन द होल लेक्चर इन द होल लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट वट आर टू डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द रिडेक्ट्स वट आर द ऑप्शनल पैरामीटर्स हेयर हाउ टू सेट अप अ डिडेक्ट फॉर अ सब फोल्डर हाउ टू डिडेक्ट अ फोल्डर विद और विदाउट डब्ल्यू 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 और हाउ टू यूज वाइल्ड कार्ड्स सो दिस इज ऑल फॉर दिस वीडियो काइज इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल भी टीचिंग यू डेट हाउ यू कैन सेट अप द एच टी पी एस रिडेक्ट विद सी पैनल और विद एस सी एक्सेस सो स्टेट यू डी सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम